you have purchased a HeartSign Samaritan PAD 350P, an innovative AED that provides audiovisual CPR coaching. Let's look at how to use one in a life-saving situation. The Samaritan PAD should be used on victims of sudden cardiac arrest who are unconscious, not breathing and have no pulse. Check for a response by shaking the victim by the shoulders and talking loudly to the victim. If the patient is unresponsive, immediately call for medical assistance and get the Samaritan PAD as quickly as possible. Press the green on-off button to turn on the Samaritan PAD. Depending on the pad pack currently installed, you will hear either an adult patient or a child patient prompt. If the patient is a child between 1 and 8 years of age, you should ensure a pink paediatric pack is installed. If a pink paediatric pack is not available, you may use the grey adult pad pack instead. Erwachsener Patient, alarmieren Sie den Rettungsdienst. Machen Sie den Oberkörper des Patienten frei. Ziehen Sie die grüne Lasche, um die Elektroden zu entnehmen. Lösen Sie die Schutzfolie von den Elektroden. Kleben Sie die Elektroden, wie in der Abbildung dargestellt, auf die entblößte Brust des Patienten. Drücken Sie die Elektroden fest auf die Haut des Patienten. The Samaritan PAD automatically assesses the patient's heart rhythm. Herzrhythmus wird analysiert. Den Patienten nicht berühren. And recommends whether or not a shock should be delivered. Schock empfohlen. Vom Patienten zurücktreten. Drücken Sie jetzt die orangefarbene Schocktaste. Schock abgegeben. When performing CPR, it's important to apply effective chest compressions for each two-minute cycle as directed. The SAM 350P will prompt you to begin CPR. Herzlungenwiederbelebung beginnen. Der Patient kann wieder berührt werden. The SAM 350P will tell you how and where to place your hands and instruct you to keep in time with the metronome. Legen Sie die aufeinandergelegten Hände in die Mitte der Brust. Drücken Sie im Rhythmus des Metronoms auf die Brust. Bleiben Sie ruhig. In addition to staying in time with the metronome, your chest compressions should have a depth of at least 5 cm or 2 inches and not greater than 6 cm or 2.4 inches for adults and children greater than 8 years in age. The combination of chest compressions and defibrillation is the best treatment you can provide until medical professionals arrive on the scene. Once you have completed two minutes of chest compressions, the SAM 350P will prompt you to stop chest compressions and again assess the patient's heart rhythm. Herzlungenwiederbelebung unterbrechen. Herzrhythmus wird analysiert. Den Patienten nicht berühren. Sometimes no shock is needed in a life-saving situation and the Samaritan PAD will tell you in that instance or advise you to continue to perform CPR. Shock nicht empfohlen. After using the Samaritan PAD, slide a new pad pack into the unit and store it as usual. Remember to follow your local battery disposal guidelines.